Hey, hey, welcome back, you guys. So, yeah, we're about to cut all of this off because, oh, it is damaged and she is over it. And, I mean, there's nothing we can do with it at this stage. So, she has a lot of new growth. And we're going to go ahead and cut off those relaxed ends that she have. And we're going to just start over. It's her birthday, too. So, she just wants something new, a fresh start. And you know what they say about a girl that's about to cut her hair or that does cut her hair. She's about to change her life. So you guys know me, I like to work in sections. So I'm just gonna take little subsections and work my way around just so I make sure everything is even. I'm gonna take these little subsections and cut it at a 90 degree angle where I pull the hair out straight to me. Um, I'm cutting it really, really short, maybe like an inch away from her head because once I do the waves, I want it to lay nice and uh, I want it to flow. I want it to flow. So I'm cutting downwards because, um, like I said, I'm cutting at a 90 where it's pulled straight out to me. But as I cut and like slide cut down, I'm kind of leaving the ends like at the very nape of her hair slightly long. So um, it's not a full 90 degree. Um, it kind of changes a little bit once I get towards the ends of her hair. Just because when I do the wave, I want it to kind of lay nice and soft um, on her neck. I don't want it to be like a, a blunt line if that makes sense but yes i'm going to go ahead and continue this cut all the way around the sides of her head So to connect the top to the back, I'm going to use a 45 degree angle just to give it that bevel and so it all blend and connect seamlessly. Now towards the top um, of her head, like the middle, the crown part, I'll be using a 90 degree, which is again straight up out from the head. And then towards the front, I'm going to over direct again to a 45 degree angle just to keep the length on the front. But because her hair is kind of is really damaged, I'm kind of flowing with her um, natural hair where I want to cut off all that relaxed part. So we're going to go shorter than normal, which is why I'm not leaving so much hair on the top. So it's kind of creating a bit of a pixie kind of cut. Okay, now that we have all of that cut off, we're gonna go ahead and use this olive oil box relaxers. I know y'all frown at box relaxers, but they are okay. I especially love olive oil. We're gonna use a normal because her hair isn't so coarse to where it won't um, take this normal relaxer. Um, please know the different relaxers that you need for the different hair types. If you're really, really coarse, then you would need a, um, a super. Or if you like a medium, like coarse, then you will use a medium. If your hair is kind of fine, you can, I know that you're looking at this video and her hair looks thick, but it's really soft, so we don't need a super. And because we've cut the relaxed parts off, this means that she is full natural. So I'm gonna have to go root to tip because this is, her hair is virgin again. So I would have to apply it like a virgin relaxer, which means it goes on from root to tip. Now, if you are not a full natural and you have relaxed ends, this is a mistake that people make with whether it's at home box relaxers or if you come to the salon and get <clears throat> a professional relaxer. Um, 
I see a lot of people make the mistake where they continuously put the relaxer on from the root to tip every time. That's not needed. That's not a virgin relaxer because your hair is not completely natural. If you have already previously relaxed your hair, then you will just need to relax the natural parts of your hair. Do not go root to tip, it will damage it. People always say that relaxers damage people's hair. No, the misuse of relaxers damage your hair. So I got off track, I just had to put that in, but I'm, the products that I'm using now is um, the Alpha G Keratin T Reconstructor, and then um, I did the purple bottle that I used was just a leave-in conditioner. Um, that I sprayed over her hair in a detangler. So now I'm just going to go ahead and part off my section that I had previously before. And um, I'm going to go ahead and apply my styling mousse, um, also by Afo G. And I'm going to proceed to waving her hair. So now that I've allowed her to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add my FOG Gloss Therapy Polishing Spray to the top of her hair and to the back to give it a nice shine and to soften it up because I am about to take some heat to the top of her hair. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and comb out her waves. Some stylists will go back in and define the waves even more with their curling irons. I'm going to leave it just is. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put some curls in the top of her hair. I'm going to use my Red by Kiss flat iron. It's the uh, pencil iron. It's really, really thin. I think they're like one inch. Um, I got it at my local beauty supply. Um, you may be able to order it online if you can't find it in the beauty supply at samsbeauty.com. That's where I go for things when I can't find it in the beauty supply. But they should be there. Um, Red by Kiss products is everywhere. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead again, like I said, and apply some curls to the top of her head. And then I'm going to pick them out and manipulate it and kind of mold this hairstyle together. Um, it has been a minute since I did a shortcut, y'all. So I had to play with it and manipulate it and see how I really wanted it to flow. And just stay tuned and watch this as I finish it and create the finished look.
So the birthday girl is all done. This is the finished product. Um, she was in love with her hair. Um, I'll show you a selfie at the end of her and she looks really beautiful. Um, let me know what you guys think below in the comment box. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys later.